Hey everyone, it's Anthony here. In today's video, I want to talk about jQuery. And specifically in jQuery, I want to talk about how to use the show, hide, and toggle functions in jQuery. So let's see, I have the jQuery documentation here, and I'm going to be talking about these three basic effect functions in jQuery. And to demonstrate, I have this bootstrap example set up so I can show high and toggle some of these elements on the page. So to do this, first I need to get jQuery into my project. So it's just an HTML file. So I'll copy this from the jQuery CDN, and then I will go to the bottom of the page and place the jQuery script there. And then once I refresh the page, it should then be jQuery enabled. All right, so to verify that it is jQuery enabled, I'll start a script here. And I'll basically say when the document is ready. So document ready. I'm going to say that when the document's ready, just alert the jQuery object. So let's just verify that it's installed. And it isn't because I put my scripts above the jQuery code. So let me just put it below and format this a little bit. So I don't want to create a new file. I'll just put everything in the HTML file for simplicity reasons. So here I see that the page says function AB and then return blah, blah, blah. So that means jQuery is up and running in this HTML file. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how to show, hide, and toggle some elements. So I'm going to get started with this Get Started Today button. So let me search my HTML for that. And it doesn't have an ID, so to select it in jQuery, I'll use the ID selector. So I'll just call this Get underscore Start It as the ID. And then in jQuery, what I'll do is I'll select the same thing, so Get underscore underscore start it. And now what I'll do is I'll start playing around with the hide, show, and toggle. So if I do show, nothing is going to happen because it's already showing. So nothing should change on this page. But if I change this to be hide, then I expect that get started today will go away. And now that I refresh the page, you can see that the get started button has in fact gone away. So if I put show again, or if I just remove this in general, then it goes away. And then what about the toggle function? So the toggle function will hide an element if it is showing, and it will show an element if it is hidden. So because the button starts off as being shown, by calling toggle, it will be hidden. And if I were to call toggle again, so if I just copy this and put toggle below it again, then it should actually show because it is hiding it and then it is showing it again. So to demonstrate toggle a little more, what I'll do is I'll put a click event on one of these view details buttons. So view details. And what I'll do is just for the first button here, I'll put this ID. So view underscore details. And with that, I will create a click event. So view underscore details on click. What I'm going to do is anytime the button is clicked, I'm going to toggle the get started button. So you can see how that works. All right, just make it a little nicer here. All right, so I can see the button here. And this is the view details button that I'm going to click. So when I click it, I expect that get started today to disappear because I'm toggling it. So click it and it goes away. And because the click event is still on that button, I expect the toggle to fire again once I click this button. So I'll go ahead and click it again. And the toggle fires again and it shows it. So just to demonstrate what happens when I change this from toggle to hide, I'll refresh the page. If I click view, t view details, the button goes away. If I click it again, 
and again and again and again, nothing happens because it's only hiding the element. So hide will always hide it, show will always show it, but toggle will do the opposite of what the current state of the element is. So in this case, it starts off as being shown. I click, disappears. I click again and it shows again. So one thing to note is when I do hide it, that the space is removed from the page. So however much space that element took up, when it becomes hidden, it's almost like the element was completely deleted from the page and everything shifts up. So keep that in mind where you're hiding things because if you have like a big spot for an element that you want to hide and then it disappears, then your other elements may rearrange in such a way that doesn't look good. So you're going to have to test that out when you're working on the app. So in addition to doing things very straightforward that way, I'll just show you how to use the duration. So each one has a duration. So I'll click on the hide and the duration is a, a numeric value that follows here. So if I do toggle and then duration, because they should all have the same uh, parameters. If I put 2000, that means that the toggle effect is going to take 2000 milliseconds and 2000 milliseconds is just two seconds. So if I refresh the page, I go back and I click this, I expect this to disappear in two seconds. So let's see what happens. Click it and you see it slowly disappears. It took two seconds and then I click it again. I expect it to show in two seconds. So you see the animation takes about two seconds. And just to slow that down so you can see it even better, I'll change this to 4,000 and then refresh the page. And then I will click that. And you see it slowly goes away until it's finally hidden completely. And then when I click this again, it slowly appears and it takes four seconds. And the last thing I'll show you is how to call a callback on this. So whenever this is done, you can actually have another function here that will do something when the animation is complete. So the toggle will take four seconds. So after that four seconds is up, this callback function will be executed and whatever is here will get executed. So I'll just put toggled. So what I expect to happen is after I click the button, the toggle will take four seconds. And then after that four seconds is up, I will get this alert telling me that it has been toggled. So I'll refresh, I'll click this, it slowly goes away. And then the alert toggled, so I'll click okay. And then the same thing happens when I click it again. So view details and it slowly appears and the alert pops up. So it's fairly straightforward if you wanna to use toggle this way and just remember that hide and show work in the same way in terms of the duration and the callback function. But of course with hide, you can only hide and never get it to show again unless you explicitly call show or toggle. And then with show, it's the same thing. Like once you call show, you have to call either hide or toggle for it to disappear. But when you call toggle, it goes back and forth between the two. So in some cases you want hide and show, in other cases you want toggle. So that's all I want to talk about in this video. It's fairly straightforward to use those, but in future videos, I'll be talking more about jQuery because I started making jQueries when I first started the channel, but I've kind of moved away from that. So I want to get back into jQuery. And then after I cover jQuery enough, I'll move into things like Vue and React and Angular. So I do have videos on my website for jQuery and intro to jQuery course. So it's a free course. If you go to prettyprinted.com, you can enroll. I have a few videos. I'll be adding more over time. So if you want to check that out, just go to prettyprinted.com. There's going to be a link in the description below. There's also going to be a link for this code if you want to try it yourself. It's just an HTML file, so you can just download it and run it immediately. And that's about it. So if you have any questions about this, uh, you can let me know in the comments below. If there are any videos on jQuery that you want me to make, just let me know because I'm building a list of videos that I want to make for jQuery. And that's about it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.